Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Uh, today work continues on this Gottlieb haunted house and I uh, just want to kind of get you up to speed on what I was doing and in this video I'm also going to show you how you can service the upper play field. I showed how to uh, service the lower play field in a previous video. Um, so I've been working on the game. I'm basically going over all the coils and all the wiring and uh, everything. So let me show you what I've been doing. I basically I'm putting LEDs in everything, uh, and in this case, the bottom half is kind of reds and oranges. So I'm using all warm white LEDs, and the top part up there is uh, green. So I'm using cool whites underneath that. So this is going to have a very a retro look, except for just a, some of the green spots. And then in the bottom, I use I use nothing but warm warm LEDs down there because I wanted to get that kind of haunted house vibe. So um, what I've been doing is is replacing all the rubber and cleaning things up, and just doing a good uh, kind of rough audit of the game. So let me show you how you remove this um, upper playfield because these uh, Gottlieb. One of the things Gottlieb is really good at. Um, was making their games pretty easily serviceable and this game is so complicated there's so many flippers there's one there's four five six seven eight flippers on this thing it's crazy uh, and there's uh, coils and kickers and pop uppers everywhere it's just outrageous the amount of things the bill of materials on this game probably was crazy um, so let's uh, take a look so to remove this, and now you can actually get to the underside of this from under the main playfield. You lift it up, it's cut out down there. But there's an easier way. Four screws will get you the, the playfield lifted off. Now I've already taken it off and put it back on, so I'm not going to redo that. But I will um, post some pictures on my website, Pinball Help, to show you the underside and everything. Um, but basically, there's a screw right here that you just loosen. And... Uh, and it pulls up and there's also one over here on the other side so I actually haven't tightened them down yet so I'm going to tighten it down so you just let me go around this side you don't even have to take the screw out all you have to do is uh, just loosen it and it's right here so I'm going to tighten it up since I've already taken off but you loosen these two screws and then these two posts, this ramp is attached to the upper play field, and, and that's really it. Um, you just undo these two screws, which are just screws into the um, play field, and then pull these posts up, loosen these two, and then this thing pulls up a little bit and just out. It's, got, it's, just, it's, just, it's just hooked into the back metal here, so you can lift it up and pull it out and then and then you can just basically hinge it up and service it. And when I did that, I, re I found that one of the power cable, the power line to this uh, flipper over here was broken. So it hadn't been working in a while. So uh, I, made, I fixed that. And I've got all the plastic off here too. And I'm putting LEDs in here and putting all the rubber and everything. So it's, it's going to be ready to clean and then um, put back together. So that's how you get this upper play field off. Loosen these two screws take these two out, the whole thing just goes up and hinges up and it's very easy to service. Um, that's pretty cool, you know, nowadays with all the ramps and stuff, multiple layers of stuff. It, you know, as complicated as this game is with three completely different playfield levels, it's surprisingly easy to get to any of them. Another feature I liked about this game is that if you look you'll see two sets of flipper buttons red and green on each side of the pinball machine the red ones are for the the center level playfield the main one the green ones flip the upper and lower playfield buttons which is nice that way they're not all tied together you can work them independently but most importantly you don't you're not flipping the upper or lower playfield flippers when you don't need them which is a problem on some games especially jersey jack games he seems to not have a problem uh, their programmer keith johnson uh, doesn't like disabling the flippers when they're not in use I guess presumably to create more wear so they can sell more parts I don't know but we've 
we've argued about that in the past and uh, it's one of those pet peeves I have if, if you know don't put a necessary wear at least in this case they're very easily serviceable you can get to the, all three of the playfield layers so that's pretty cool so um, there you have it this is uh, the game is coming along nicely I am got the I've got the bottom part pretty much the power supply and rectifier board down there is all rebuilt um, the uh, lower play field, middle play field, and upper play fields are now basically all LED'd out. I've got a few more little spots. I'm going to take this plastic off, and then I'm going to get be ready to begin working in the back box. And uh, I don't know if you've seen, but there's some problems in the back box with some of the wiring and the connectors. So that's going to take a little bit of work. So um, stay tuned, and in the next video, you'll probably see a little bit further along. And until next time, um, be sure to visit pinballhelp.com. I'll put more pictures of this game and, and the uh, process on there. And also Instagram slash pinballhelp, um, Twitter slash pinballhelp, and of course, YouTube slash pinballhelp. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>